Hiya. This might be annoying to some of those watching my videos, but I am still around for now. Apologies to the few good and concerned viewers contacting me after watching my video titled 12 Years Elaborate, which I uploaded on the 8th of October. I hope this latest video goes some way to helping you understand my deliberate vagueness and the worrying message within that previous video. It was not my intention to upset or unsettle you. I designed a flyer for what is very likely my final flyer campaign. It's double sided and I paid for both sides to be printed. So I was surprised on opening my newly printed flyers to find only the front had been printed. I emailed the company and received an apology and they sent out a new corrected batch which arrived very quickly and I was relieved to see that both sides had been printed. Here's the front. On the reverse you'll see two different sized white rectangles and they're for me to add one word in each. I like to see myself as a sharing type of guy and once I've filled in those blank rectangles you should see what the locals take and delivery of a flyer might be potentially sharing with me. Here's the reverse. Before I deliver these to the locals, I have some writing to do. I'd better fill out those white rectangles. I'm making this video in stages and the next stage should show me delivering the flyers locally and I hope I deliver them unscathed.
as that undoubtedly was to watch, I thought you needed to see me delivering some of the flyers. This is a map of the roads I delivered those flyers. My web photoslondon.com rarely gets more than a few visitors most days. The blackpeckham.co.uk webpage does do slightly better sometimes, but it too gets less than 10 views per day. Some hours after delivering the flyers, there is a very significant increase in views. This won't be coincidence. Since delivering my final flyer, one person has been in touch. If the cops had made a visit, and I won't rule them out doing so, I know they will have watched this video in advance, but they'll probably go through with the pretense they know nothing about it. I'd show them their police oath of allegiance and tell them they're ignoring it. Finally, I would then ask them to watch a short video I made back in July 2020. It's never been publicly accessible on YouTube, and you'll see why when you watch it now. that I do intend to purchase and which I'll premiere or make public this video at a later date on YouTube and BitChute because I anticipate I'll need to explain the apparent controversial nature of it. I've omitted two words from the flyer and that was done on purpose because if I'd included them these flyers might not get printed or the police would be making visit to the flat sooner than I want, though I do anticipate a visit from them because of the seemingly unambiguous and worrying nature of the content, though I hope they delay their visit for reasons that should become apparent. For those of you that take the trouble to watch my videos, you'll know I've hand-delivered various flyers locally over a number of years, in a futile attempt to introduce those around me to the reality that some of us endure via this state or deep state multi-person stalking, spying and harassment program. And thus far, I've not been able to make contact with the spongy matter hopefully residing somewhere within the impenetrable skulls of the local people living around me. I was going to admit defeat and save money and time by no longer buying any flyers and wasting hours delivering them. But I've had a change of mind. I need to believe there's someone out there with some intelligence and compassion who's willing to get in touch about what they've seen or heard about me and understand how the character assassination is but one part of these illegal state-sanctioned operations that I and many others continue to endure indefinitely and one in which very worryingly the police are one organisation involved but mainstream media and the government by their silence are also implicated among others. This will likely be my last flyer but not for the reason one might very reasonably infer from the content of it. In my penultimate flyer, I tried using a little psychology or pity to jolt someone into contacting me using the words that I've often heard and recorded about me from strangers and also within the block I live, and those words typically weirdo and ugly. With this final attempt, I'm using fear and personal responsibility placing the onus partly on the recipient were I to carry out the threat within that final flyer. If this final attempt also fails to wake any person up, in other words, they don't get in touch with me, then I will throw in the towel 
as far as flyers as a means to enlighten the permanently unenlightened. And by the way, the two words omitted from the flyer are kill and killing, respectively. And I'll add these essential words by hand once I've received the flyers. As you can see, I've generously offered the recipients of this flyer two choices. And those choices are to remain silent on what they know has made me the pariah I am, or tell me what they know. If they choose to all remain silent, then I've stated that I intend to kill. And they, because of their silence, will be partly responsible. It's a simple choice and one they should seriously reflect on. But will they? I don't, of course, intend to kill anyone and intentionally didn't state I would kill a person. And this deliberate vagueness could apply to anything. So as our flat does get some unwelcome visitors at times, mice and feral ants, for example, then they could be the target of the threat in that flyer. But, of course, if I mention this, then the recipients of the flyer are hardly likely to tell me what they've heard or seen about me, which has brought about my prior status. So if they believe I'm ready to kill a person, or more than one person, and because of their collective silence, they'll be partly responsible, then my hope is 